right, folks, and we're back. Hi, Gaga. Oh, you're so pretty. Yes. Who else is pretty? Huh? Okay. Um, oh, here comes Bud, thinking he's something's going down. No tasty bites. No tasty bites, Bud. <laughs> Look at what we have here. Mm -hmm. All right, do a butt check. I gotta move on. We're doing the grocery haul, bud. Show them you're the best boy. Huh? Who's the best boy? Is it bud? Okay. You have tasty bites. Okay, let's get this going. Um, went to Aldi. Got an Instacart. So I got, you know, some wild shit from Aldi. Because, you know, they have their own... Uh, situation going on over there. I don't think I got enough snacks though. What do you think? Yeah, I probably could have used a little more. So just a quick little pan of what I'm going to show you because uh, I just wiped it all down, you know, with like a Clorox wipe. Uh, hence the, uh, the COVID situation. And uh, now I will just uh, roll through it real quick. Now, <clears throat> Balsamic vinegar and rosemary kettle chips, don't those sound just delightful? I think so. Never had these, so. Uh, then get some popcorn with some pink salt. Organic coconut oil, I guess. I mean, is that really necessary? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm down with coconut oil and like some coconut products and, and, and stuff like that, but I think it's getting a little out of control. I'm kind of tired of it. It's like coconut this, coconut that. And it's like, uh, that's all I taste at the end of the day. If it's a, like a coconut ice cream, coconut yogurt, coconut milks and freaking sugars and all this shit, that's all I taste. Okay. These, you guys, are the greatest sweet potato chips I have ever had in my life. I feel like I'm at a restaurant. They are just shredding the roof of my mouth, which I live for. Oh, they, they're just, they're the best, which is why I got three freaking bags of them because I have decided I can't live without them. Plus, I don't go to Aldi that often. I usually shop at Vons or Sprouts. So when I go to Aldi, I need to make sure I load up on these because, oh, they're the business. Um, <clears throat> here's Nella first favorites. Some chicharrones. Um, I don't recall if I've had this brand, but I mean, a chicharron is a chicharron or not? Like, do they get like better pigs, cleaner pigs? Like, is that an oxymoron? Who knows? So um, then I got this Italian salad because it had some radicchio in it. And I go, I could use some, oh God, my nose is just, I could use some radicchio in my life. You know what I mean? I don't think, like this isn't a kit, so it didn't come with dressing. Whereas the Caesar salad is a kit, so it comes with the dressing and the Parmesan and all that, the croutons and everything, but this is just the salad, which is fine, because uh, I have plenty of dressings and BS to put on it, so moving on. Oh, more snacks, more popcorn. Um, sometimes I just need water and popcorn, and I'm like, you know what, I'm good. Like last night, I just had popcorn. Um, instead of a meal or what have you. Plus, I was kind of out of a lot of staple types of things, so I was just like, well. So these are my coffees. Um, I got the Costa Rican. Apparently, these are whole bean, which is fine um, because I have a Vitamix to, um, to grind those up very, very swiftly and efficiently. And then um, I decided to try this Italian dark roast. It just sounded so good. And... Um, you know, who doesn't want to be involved with, you know, Italian food, drink, and products? I know I do. Now, I didn't buy the, this is empty, right? So I bought these at Aldi, I don't know, I, it's probably been a few months now. And these are the best, like, pre-made meatballs I've ever freaking had, and I just finished the bag today. So I left this out because I am on a mission to find them. Uh, they're not at Aldi anymore, of course, because they have a lot of seasonal stuff or limited time stuff, and apparently this was one of them. So I am uh, going to be scouring the globe looking for this shit. Money's no object. Okay. Um, I did get a cantaloupe. I ordered a, a, a watermelon, 
a sandia and they didn't have it. Um, another thing about shopping at Aldi on Instacart is you will order a bunch of shit on Instacart only to find that they don't have like half of the shit in the store that they have on Instacart. So it's constant replacements, refunds, chatting, um, you know, like I'm practically at the store with them. I can't just lay back and, and be fancy. Nope. I have to be all over my phone trying to pick out replacements and trying to tell them that I already had replacements and trying to see if I want a refund or not. And it's just, you know, and you better clear your schedule for this shit. Okay. So I got some cilantro because I can't live without it. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, snap. Now, I don't know what I thought these were or what I still think they might be. I thought that it was like a chip, you know, or a cracker or something. But I think they might just be individual packs of just pickles. So, um, let's open these because I'm still like not 100% on what these even are. So, uh, I'm gonna rip them open. We're gonna, yeah, it is. They're, I think they're actually, yeah, they're actual pickles. Okay, that's kind of cool. Dilly Bites. Oh, how freaking cute are these, right? No brine added. Grave for on the go snacking. Okay, um, I do have spicy pickles in the fridge. However, I haven't really been um, eating them because the packaging is so freaking ridiculous and so fucking dangerous that I just keep it in the back of the fridge and give it, you know, like a fearful glare every once in a while because I can't even deal with the packaging. Um, I feel like, I feel like I've been over this before with, with y'all, but, um, yeah, it's like, it's out for blood, yo. So I guess I'll just, uh, switch on over to these for a while. Okay. I got waffle cones. Woo! They were in the seasonal, um, category. I was like, dude, I haven't had a waffle cone in, you know, forever. And Tuni loved me a waffle cone. So, um, I got some sugar, you know, for various things. And, um, I got this vanilla bean cupcake mix because it just sounded so simple and so satisfying. Um, my sister-in-law makes a strawberry shortcake and I believe she uses a similar, just plain vanilla cake mix from, uh, Trader Joe's and uh, it looks just like this. So it just reminded me of the strawberry shortcake we had uh, last weekend. And, um, I decided to just take the plunge, make little cupcakes. I have those little silicone molds and stuff. So I did get some booze, got some hard cider, and I'm planning on mixing them with, um, Laurent and the other one. Aha. So let me show you what I, I'm going to make like a little, whoop, little spritzers out of these and perhaps some spritzers out of these Vista Bay coconut mings. So I guess this is like Aldi's answer to um, White Claw and Truly. So I thought I'll try them, you know, 100, 100 calories, three carbs or two carbs, something like that, 5% uh, alcohol. So I said, all right, I'll see what their shit's like. And I'm gonna be mixing it with, um, I believe there's a couple of flavors I haven't tried that I purchased today. So I got La Croix peach pear. That sounds good, doesn't it? And then I got Aha Strawberry Cuke. Sparkling water, which I'm really enjoying the Aha's. I think I had the watermelon lime one last time and I really liked it, so. And then, yeah, I'm busted. I got some Cokes. Okay, can I just have a summertime without people getting on my case? All you keto bitches. Bud, you're never going outside again, bud. It's finalmente, okay? Sheesh. Not everything's about you, bud. He wants to go outside. He's feeling like his old self. I know he wants to go outside. Tell him no, funny times. Tell him no. Hi. Yes. Okay, let's get back to this. This is getting lengthy. Oh, you want to know what's going on? <laughs> All right. All right. So, booze. We covered the booze. Now, let's get over to my ice cream that goes with my waffle cones. I am trying this uh, peaches and cream. Now, I'd rather have half the sugar than half the fat, but whatever, you know? If it's gonna be, let's see, 130 calories. Peaches and cream just sounded so effing good. So we'll see what this light ice cream has to offer. It's pretty cheap. This brand's pretty cheap, but I did try their mint and chip one time and it was decent, so. And I've been on a strawberry ice cream kick 
um, there's these ice cream sandwiches. I think they're Tillamook and, and um, I'm totally addicted to them. So I thought I'll just get some of this ice cream and just uh, enjoy my life. I got some blueberries. Um, they didn't have the organic. They didn't have organic fuck all basically. So I just said, just give them to me. I'll just like soak them or some shit. I'll just take the plunge. Sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta freaking um, save money. You know what I mean? Or take what you can get. Anyway, these need to get into the freezer. So I got some cooked shrimps. Um, it's been a while since I've had a nice shrimp. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> oh yes I did say that okay alright um, this is pretty uh, self explanatory got my almond and oat milks um, got a heavy whipping cream got my kefir milk I haven't um, drank this in a while but I really like it um, and it's good in smoothies and such I got a whipped topping because I'm obsessed and um, I got baby bella mushrooms and I got portobello so I can make the um the little pizzas I tried to get more pepperonis from Aldi and they just didn't have them so um I ordered them but they do not exist at this time and then I actually got kimchi from Aldi and I'm gonna try it unfortunately though when it showed up it was leaking so you know the seal is still unbroken it just kind of started getting twisted somehow to where it there was enough give in here to it, it leaked. So it's kind of all I smell right now, which, you know, isn't the best, if you know what I mean. So, all right, I also got some of my guacamole cups. These are good, the single servings. So you're one and done, and you don't have like leftovers that are just oxidizing and turning brown before your very eyes. Okay, here's another thing that's going on here. I've got not one, but two bags of um, aguacates, and I have no idea why. I only ordered one. Maybe I made a mistake. I'll go back in the app and look. So, I mean, it's cool. These ones are further along than these. So I'll start with those. Um, yeah, I got lots of avocado. And I got my green onion and my scallion or whatever. Um, I like to use these in a lot of stuff, salads and such. And then I got a red onion because I really, really am loving it in my salads and such. Then, oh my God, I'm ready for this after I show you real quick. I got my mixed greens, more salad stuff. Oh, look, and I got this cute little bag of um, uh, cucumbers, the mini cucumbers. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So got a lot of cucumber y pickly type shit around here. And my flowers are dying. Um, but check this out. <laughs> oh yeah, fuchsia. Oriental stir fry. Mm. It's a delicious blend of crisp vegetables with a savory oriental sauce. And I will just put this away and let you marinate on that for a minute. I don't know what the story is there, but we're just gonna move on. I got some nanners and um, I actually did get a new spray sunscreen. The one I have was old. And I think that concludes my grocery haul. Um, now that shit's getting blurry, that means that everybody's fatigued and needs a break. So I will go ahead and let you go and I'll take you out with the funny tone. And bud. Say bye, bud.